Good morning. Superintendent Gagner, Superintendent Turner, Chairman Harris, school committee members, Mr. Roberts, school faculty and staffs, parents, family and friends, and most importantly, the graduating seniors of the Herman High School class of 2020. My name is Brian Walsh, and as the principal of Herman High School, it is my pleasure to welcome you to our commencement ceremony. This year, we celebrate the 92nd commencement of Herman High School and probably the most unique senior year in our school's history. I use the term commencement because although you are graduating from high school, it is also the beginning of the next chapters in your lives. A chapter that will not be defined by a virus, but by the success you have found as individuals and as a class. Today, as you walk across the high school stage and receive your diplomas, I would like you to pause and reflect on two things. First, that your class holds the distinct honor of being the only class in our history to ever graduate here at Herman High School. And second, I hope you take a moment to look out at the auditorium and think about all the different times you have been in this room. Beginning with your eighth grade step up day, freshman orientation, class elections, concerts, plays, performances, assemblies, class meetings, and now your graduation. I hope you look back upon all the positive times you have been in the auditorium, knowing you are the first class to start and finish your high school careers right here. I think this is something special that you will hold in your hearts today as well as in the future. You all know we have a saying at Herman High School, and I don't mean the mission statement. At Herman High School, we are small enough that you will be known and large enough that you will be known for something. One need only look at the different sashes, pins, hoods, cords, medals, ribbons, and medallions that the seniors adorn as they walk through the school and across this stage to know that individually, and more importantly as a class, these seniors have been known and recognized for the success they have achieved academically, artistically, athletically, and civically. Seniors, you are known and you are known for something. Today, we celebrate the young men and women you have become, the knowledge you have gained, the skills that you possess, and the colleges, post-secondary schools, military branches, and careers you are prepared for. Seniors, I am hopeful that in the not so near future, your class will hold a reunion, one at which you can celebrate together in person as a class. I know that I speak for all of the faculty and staff in saying that we would love to join all of you at such an event and give you the heartfelt well wishes you deserve. Today, I offer congratulations on all of your achievements and I wish you all the best. And please know that no matter where your paths lead, you will always have a place in time as the Herman High School class of 2020. Thank you. This morning's commencement speaker, Mr. Stephen Roberts Jr., is not new to Herman High School or the greater Herman community. Growing up in Herman, Stephen attended local schools, including Herman High School, graduating in 2012. After high school, Stephen attended the University of Maine, earning a bachelor's degree in international affairs. He was a 2015 Kilman Fellowship Fulbright Scholar and spent a semester studying in Ontario, Canada at Carleton University. Stephen is an award-winning investigative journalist for the Virginia Gazette in Williamsburg, Virginia. While at the paper, he worked to organize the newsroom to have union protections 
and fought for fair contracts at the national bargaining table. He was recognized by the Virginia Press Association for his two-year-long investigation into a fatal helicopter crash into a 10-unit residential complex in Williamsburg, Virginia in 2018, and for his investigation into an inept fire department in rural Virginia. This April, Stephen made the switch from journalism to law enforcement, taking his investigative skills to a job with the Williamsburg Police Department. Stephen's parents still live in Herman and operate Bangor Glass and Graphics in Freedom Park. Stephen married his college sweetheart, Sarah, in October in 2019. At this time, I am pleased to introduce Mr. Stephen Roberts, Jr. Hello to the Herman High School Class of 2020. Let me take a moment to thank the parents, family members, coaches, friends, and teachers who've helped you get where you are now. To all of you who love these students, the path of love doesn't end with a diploma, but you've done a marvelous job so far. Class of 2020 graduates, on this day, be sure to thank those who've offered you a hand up when you needed it, helped you when you might not have deserved it, and gave you their attention freely. My name is Steve Roberts Jr. and uh, eight years ago, I graduated from Herman High School too. I'm a Herman native and both my parents still live in town, uh, but after I graduated from the University of Maine in 2016 with a degree in international affairs, uh, I followed my now wife to Williamsburg, Virginia and uh, got a job at a small online news outlet on a handshake. Uh, two years and hundreds of stories later, uh, I made the jump to the South's oldest newsroom. Uh, it's been published in 1736. It's the Virginia Gazette. And uh, from day one, I led the paper's investigations, starting with uh, a helicopter crash into a 10-unit residential complex. Um, I looked into police officer-involved shootings, crime, the local college, and uh, a rural fire department, not unlike that in Herman. Um, and by 24, I had guest lectured student journalists on how to do the job I had just picked up a few years earlier. My stories brought much needed attention to the needs of residents in Greater Williamsburg. Uh, I wanted to give voice to the people who felt voiceless and um, the lawmakers took notice, uh, the State Press Association took notice, and my boss noticed too. And uh, there's just one thing that few people could have known at that time and that's that I had no idea of what I was doing. Um, I won the Virginia Press Association's Best in Show Award in 2018 for non-daily writers on five months of reporting. And I let my principles of honesty, fairness, and transparency guide me, but I didn't have a clue of what I was doing. Um, and that's something that starting the day you feel your diploma in your hands, uh, you'll have that feeling a whole lot too, um, if you don't feel it already, of course. Uh, but let me remind you that you've just graduated during a pandemic that has shut the world down. And you shouldn't be fooled. You are strong enough to be able to do anything that you put your mind to. That said, there are things that people are going to tell you that are not reasonable. Not everyone in this class has started on an even playing field. Many of you have already faced adversity watching your working mothers and fathers struggle to pay the bills. And the fact is that not all dreams in the United States of America are the American dream. And that fact is only worsened by the pandemic. Don't let that hinder you. But now's a good time to remind yourself that your work is not your life. As an investigative reporter, I fell for that trap. In 2018, I was fired without cause for my first real job at a news outlet. And for a few months, I forgot that I was loved by people who cared about me. That's one thing about life that everyone experiences. It's the feeling of getting knocked down, of not having people around you, of being alone. And when I finally came out of it, I realized that everyone around me, my childhood friends, my now wife, my family, had actually worked even harder to raise me up. You have to remember when you get knocked down to pick yourself up. And sometimes you just have to remember to let those who love you pull you back up. 
I was reminded in those dark times that I couldn't let what I did for work define who I was as a person. I found out it's important to let what you love define your life. Find what you love and keep with it. Find what you love and keep with it. And never forget that you are loved. There are people who will work to raise you up if you need help. As you look to potential career options, keep an open mind to what can help you live a good life. Don't have your mind set so in one direction that you can't hear it when opportunities knock. I heard that knock too recently. And starting May 26, I'm headed to training to be a police officer in Williamsburg. Who would have thought that an HHS grad who graduated from the University of Maine with a degree in international affairs, who worked as an award-winning reporter, would make the jump to law enforcement. Well, here's the thing. If you truly believe in something, you have to get involved in how it's actually done. Well, here's the thing. When you truly believe in something, you have to get involved in how it's actually done. When it's late at night and you're scrolling through Facebook, Twitter, or Instagram, and you see someone gripe about something, you have to ask yourself, did they try to change it? And the best part is that you can change everything. Your opportunities are limitless. Change everything. And maybe you should. Don't just vote every election. Get involved. Get involved in the political party you believe in. Create a new, better political system. We need it. And let your voice be heard. And while you're at it, listen to what everyone around you has to say. Every word that everyone says has a need behind it. And it will save you a lot of headaches if you listen to what those needs are behind what they're saying. On the other hand, it's important to always ask yourself, why am I talking? Uh, it'll make you a better person. All in all, class of 2020, never forget that you are strong, you are loved, and you must make the change that you want to see in this state, this country, and this world. And to each and every one of you, you make me proud to be a Herman Hawk. Thank you. And congratulations to the class of 2020. Thank you, Mr. Roberts. I am very pleased to introduce the president of the class of 2020, who will now give his parting address. I am pleased to introduce to you, Mr. Alexander Kivel. March 14th, 2020, school was shut down for what was supposed to be two weeks. We were, we were supposed to return back to the classroom on the 27th of that very same month. For many, it wasn't a big deal. It's a long vacation from school. We could do whatever we wanted after we got that online assignment done, of course. But that's if we even did it. And let's be honest, we didn't. If you had a job, you could pick up more hours, make more money, and that was a great feeling. A family could have a little more time together. Friends could spend more time outside of school together and have fun and be kids for once, instead of having everyone question them on what they've got planned after school. As a student, you could sleep more, play video games, or read that book you've always wanted that wasn't assigned and had no due date on it. Teachers, you were all put into a more difficult position than we were. You had to move all those planned assignments from a physical copy to a digital one, and that wasn't always an easy task. In the future, people always talk about how the seniors of 2020 lost the end of their school year, but what they won't always talk about is how those very same teachers that us seniors were with also lost the rest of their year too. Those last few months you teachers had with us was taken from you just as quickly. Us seniors were hit with the heavy realization that this was our last year once we stepped through the front doors of September. And we were quarantined in March, we were finally hit with the realization that these were our last few months together. What time we had to make memories with our friends, to go to that last semi-formal dance, our senior class night with everyone we've gone to school with, it became short-lived. We thought we all had would have a time where our students and our teachers could finally come together and look back on it all. To go to that prom we were all excited about, to finally walk across that stage and receive the diploma we all worked so hard for. We were finally hit with the realization that, given the circumstances we're in, we may not get that. 
Living through a pandemic isn't how we expected to spend the last few months of this year. But if I'm being honest, it's pretty cool, and I'll tell you why. We get to one day tell stories of how we made it through a pandemic, with little contact with the real world, and make great stories of how we pushed through it all with sheer will. We can also tell the story in any way we want, because this is our story. This is our story of perseverance and willpower to finish what we started in a new light that shined dim for a while, but grew in brightness as we pushed through. As a whole, we managed our way through social distancing and online schooling just so we can continue our journey of life in whichever way we may decide to go. We demonstrated that we could keep our heads up in troublesome times and prove nothing could keep us down. From sitting in our cars six feet apart, hopefully, to driving to the school on Friday nights to see that lit up scoreboard shining 2020 across it, put on by our faculty and staff. We proved nothing can keep us apart, no matter how difficult times got. We showed everyone the true meaning of being a hawk, the perseverance and dedication, and we stuck with it until the very last assignment. It's no secret that we, we, wanted, we were looking forward to walking across the stage, listening to the graduation music play as we marched toward our seats, the big cross insurance center allowing hundreds of our guests, our friends and family, to, see us finally, to finally see us accomplish that long sought out goal we worked so hard for. And even though that isn't what we'll have, we'll be okay. And I know that we'll be okay because we're blessed with the huge support system of educators that worked with all their effort to make sure we still had a graduation, making sure we could still experience the march to receive that diploma seniors worked hard for. Our Herman High faculty and staff put together a spectacular graduation ceremony, one that had to go through all those rules and regulations that come with a pandemic. And they kept at it over several weeks of planning preparation also, we seniors could still have our graduation. I don't think there's enough thank yous in this world that could even express how truly grateful we are for these faculty and staff members. For myself and all of the class of 2020, we truly thank you for all this that you're putting together for us. Moving forward from all this, we learned that the greatest lesson of them all is no matter what we may encounter in this mysterious life, as long as we stick together and persevere through it all, there's nothing we may face that could keep us apart. As long as we have each other's backs through the toughest of situations, we will always come out on top. My fellow graduating seniors, if we can make it through this, then there's nothing that this world can throw at us that can keep us down. Congratulations, class of 2020. We are now officially graduates of Herman High School. At this time, Director of Guidance, Mrs. Leslie Smith, will recognize the following scholarship recipients in their respective awards. Every year, we ask our graduates to report to us what they have earned through local and merit scholarships. It is my honor to acknowledge the hard work and accomplishments earned by the class of 2020. And it is an impressive list. Nathan Elaine, Frank Bartlett Scholarship for $3,000, the Thomas College Grant, $4,500, and the Thomas College Magna Cum Laude Scholarship, totaling $60,000 over four years. Rachel Baumas, the Patricia Duren Educational Scholarship for $1,000, the University of Maine Early Action Award for $1,500, and the University of Maine Heritage Scholarship totaling $8,000 over four years. Quinn Bartlett, the Raymond and Patricia Ormsby Memorial Scholarship for $250. The Herman Alumni Scholarship for $1,000. And the University of Maine Presidential Award totaling $32,000 over four years. Abigail Boucher. The All Souls Congregational Church Scholarship for $500. 
the University of Maine Early Action Award for $750, and the University of Maine Presidential Award totaling $32,000 over four years. Brooklyn Brown. The Morgan Hill Event Center Scholarship for $250, the Bangor Elk Scholarship for $500, the Melmac CTE Scholarship for $2,000, and the Husson University Beacon Scholarship totaling $4,000 over four years. Jenica Buck. The Husson University Beacon Scholarship totaling $4,000 over four years. The Dean's Leadership Scholarship totaling $10,000 over four years. Wyatt Butler. The Harold Alphon Scholarship for $3,200. The Husson University Beacon Scholarship totaling $4,000 over four years. The Husson University Legacy Scholarship totaling $4,000 over four years. And the Ewan Husson Scholarship for $6,069. Peter Cannon. The Friends of Herman Football Scholarship for $500, the Melmac Scholarship for $2,000, the Husson University Beacon Scholarship totaling $4,000 over four years, and the Husson University Provost Leadership Scholarship totaling $14,000 over four years. Nolan Carmichael. The Kelson Doulis Memorial Scholarship for $500, the Embark Scholarship totaling $2,000 over four years. Nicholas Cox. The Gary Adams Memorial Scholarship for $250. The Katie Vachon Memorial Award for $300. The Key Club Scholarship for $500. The Murphy's Lawn Care LLC Scholarship for $1,000. And the Embark Scholarship totaling $2,000 over four years. David Crisofulli. The Husson University Beacon Scholarship totaling $4,000 over four years. The Husson Eagle Grant totaling $9,650 over four years. And the Dean's Leadership Scholarship totaling $10,000 over four years. Brooke Dempsey. The Herman Booster Scholarship for $500 the Herman Alumni Scholarship for $1,000, the Marissa Pinkham Scholarship for $1,000, the Chesley H. Husson Jr. Scholarship for $2,000, the Husson University Beacon Scholarship totaling $4,000 over four years, and the Husson University Provost Leadership Scholarship totaling $14,000 over four years. Felicia Deshane. The University of Maine Early Action Award for $1,500, the University of Maine Music Scholarship for $3,000, and the University of Maine Black Bear Scholarship totaling $4,000 over four years. Ashley Dunphy. The Herman Education Association Scholarship for $250, the Bangor Elk Scholarship for $600, the Thomas College Summa Cum Laude Scholarship for $70,000 over four years. Lillian Ebersol. The Husson University Beacon Scholarship totaling $4,000 over four years. And the Dean's Leadership Scholarship totaling $10,000 over four years. Logan Farrar. The Embark Scholarship totaling $2,000 over four years. Mia Foley, the Herman Fire Department Scholarship for $250, the Herman Booster Scholarship for $500, the Amera Maine and Versant Power Scholarship for $8,000, and the Thomas College Summa Cum Laude Scholarship for $70,000 over four years. Kylie Hall, the Husson University Beacon Scholarship totaling $4,000 over four years. The Husson University Trustee Scholar Award, totaling $22,000 over four years. Sydney Hansen, 
the University of Maine Heritage Scholarship totaling $8,000 over four years. William Hart. The University of Maine Early Action Award for $1,500. The University of Maine Mechanical Engineering Scholarship for $5,000. The University of Maine Katahdin Scholarship totaling $24,000 over four years. Lacey Haskell. The Jessica Mushro Memorial Scholarship for $400. The Suzanne M. Smith Memorial Scholarship for $500. The Bangor Elk Scholarship for $900. The University of South Alabama Freshman Admission Scholarship Talent and Ability Tier 4, totaling $20,000 over four years. And the University of South Alabama Tuition Reduction for Academics, totaling $33,584 over four years. Parker Hawes. The Hoomer Booster Scholarship for $500. The Travis Morgan Memorial Scholarship for $500. The Bangor Elk Scholarship for $600. The Husson University Beacon Scholarship totaling $4,000 over four years. The Husson University Legacy Scholarship totaling $4,000 over four years. And the Husson University President's Academic Scholarship totaling $18,000 over four years. Madison Hobart. The Southeastern University Academic Scholarship for $5,000. Hallie Jackson. Herman Family Dental Scholarship for $300. The Bangor Elk Scholarship for $600. The Husson University Beacon Scholarship totaling $4,000 over four years. The Ewan Husson Scholarship totaling $8,932 over four years. The Husson University Eagle Grant totaling $12,800 over four years. And the Husson University's Provost Leadership Scholarship totaling $14,000 over four years. Mikhail Jackson. The Husson University Beacon Scholarship totaling $4,000 over four years. Malaya Jelks. The Bangor Elk Scholarship, $700. The Herman Alumni Scholarship, $1,000. The Hassan University Beacon Scholarship, totaling $4,000 over four years. The Dean's Leadership Scholarship, totaling $10,000 over four years. The Ewan Hassan Scholarship, totaling $17,952 over four years. Derek Jenkins. The Embark Scholarship totaling $2,000 over four years. Ian Kelly. The Main Paper and Janitorial Products Scholarship for $500. And the University of Maine Heritage Scholarship totaling $8,000 over four years. Alexander Kivel. The Ruth M. Crosby Scholarship for $1,200. Mackenzie Leonard. The Patricia Dern Educational Scholarship for $1,000. The Thomas College Honoris Scholarship totaling $40,000 over four years. Kimberly McElroy. The University of Maine Black Bear Scholarship totaling $4,000 over four years. Reagan Merriman. The University of Maine Early Action Award, $1,500, and the University of Maine Black Bear Scholarship, totaling $4,000 over four years. Emily Morgan. The Husson University Beacon Scholarship, totaling $4,000 over four years. The Dean's Leadership Scholarship, totaling $10,000 over four years. The Husson Army ROTC Nursing Scholarship, totaling $102,000 over four years. Caden Nevels. The R. W. Duby Memorial Scholarship for $250. The Student Council Scholarship for $250.
the University of Maine Early Action Award for $1,500, and the University of Maine Heritage Scholarship totaling $8,000 over four years. Reagan Partridge, the Huston University Beacon Scholarship totaling $4,000 over four years, the Huston University Legacy Scholarship totaling $4,000 over four years, the Huston University President's Academic Scholarship totaling $18,000 over four years. Parker Pettengill. The Bangor Lodge of Elk Scholarship for $500. The Eric Cole Jr. Memorial Scholarship for $1,500. And the Embark Scholarship totaling $2,000 over four years. Paige Plissy. The Wilma Pike Noel Memorial Scholarship for $200. The Husson University Beacon Scholarship totaling $4,000 over four years. The Husson University Legacy Scholarship totaling $4,000 over four years. The Coca-Cola Scholarship totaling $4,000 over four years. And the Husson University Provost Leadership Scholarship totaling $14,000 over four years. Robert Pottle. The Husson University Beacon Scholarship totaling $4,000 over four years. The Dean's Leadership Scholarship totaling $10,000 over four years. Dagan Purvis. The Herman Alumni Scholarship for $1,000. The Harold Alphonse Scholarship for $3,200. The Husson University Beacon Scholarship totaling $4,000 over four years. The U and Husson Scholarship for $4,275. Neely Raymond. The Margaret Chase Smith Essay Contest third place award for $250. The Olive Sedgley and Tina Felker Memorial Scholarship $300. The Daughters of the American Revolution Good Citizen Maine Winner and United States Northeast Division Winner Award for $850. The Marianne Hartman Inspiring Maine Feminist Essay Contest, first place award, $1,000. The Holocaust and Human Rights Center of Maine Spiegel Remembrance Scholarship for $1,000. The University of Maine Early Action Award for $1,500. The Veterans of Foreign Wars Voice of Democracy Competition Maine Champion and United States 11th Place Winner Award for $3,350. The Elks Most Valuable Student National Semifinalist Scholarship for $4,000. The University of Maine Visual and Performing Arts Scholarship totaling $12,000 over four years. The MES Foundation Richard H. Pierce Memorial Scholarship totaling $20,000 over four years, and the University of Maine National Merit Award, totaling $92,096 over four years. Ethan Rudnicki. The University of Southern Maine Derrickel Scholarship, totaling $12,000 over four years. Liana Shaw. The Olive Sedgley Tina Felker Memorial Scholarship for $200. The University of Maine Early Action Award for $1,500. The University of Maine Top Scholar totaling $46,952 over four years. Jillian Shorey. The Irene Homestead Memorial Scholarship for $500. The Herman Booster Scholarship for $500. The Husson University Beacon Scholarship totaling $4,000 over four years. And the Dean's Leadership Scholarship totaling $10,000 over four years. Travis Spell Jr. The Plymouth State University Aspire Scholarship totaling $30,000 over four years. Evan Staples. The Husson University Beacon Scholarship totaling $4,000 over four years. The
the Huston University President's Academic Scholarship, totaling $18,000 over four years. Kathleen Thayer. The Huston University Beacon Scholarship, totaling $4,000 over four years. The Huston University Provost Leadership Scholarship, totaling $14,000 over four years. Isaac Varney. The Huston University Beacon Scholarship, totaling $4,000 over four years. The Ralph and Nancy Carr Scholarship, totaling $4,000 over four years. The U and Husson Scholarship totaling $5,968 over four years. The Husson University Eagle Grant totaling $12,800 over four years. And the Husson University Provost Leadership Scholarship totaling $14,000 over four years. Willow Ward. Husson University Beacon Scholarship totaling $4,000 over four years and the Husson University President's Academic Scholarship, totaling $18,000 over four years. Jacob Wilds. The Henry Page Memorial Scholarship for $500. The University of Maine Early Action Award for $1,500. And the University of Maine Heritage Scholarship, totaling $8,000 over four years. Emily Willey. The Thomas College Legacy Scholarship for $4,000 over four years. The Thomas College Grant totaling $39,600 over four years. And the Thomas College Honoris Scholarship totaling $40,000 over four years. The grand total of scholarships for the class of 2020 is $1,360,000. $830. Congratulations to the class of 2020. I am very pleased to introduce the valedictorian of the class of 2020 who will now give her valedictorian address. I am pleased to introduce to you Ms. Neely Raymond. Nostalgia is the cornerstone of any good valedictorian speech. I regale my classmates with some embarrassing yet collectively fond memory, and we all sigh and wipe away a glistening tear. Except that nostalgia is the most ludicrous excuse for self-pity that ever mucked its way out of a swamp. It is resignation to the idea that your best days are behind you. I forbid you to partake. Now, you've probably had a good chuckle at my naivety. <laughs> Who is this girl to be dispensing advice? She seems like she missed the fountainhead of wisdom and went straight for the laughing gas. <laughs> and I would agree. I haven't lived enough life to instruct you on yours. All I can do is share the words of others, three artists who know how to move with conviction into the overwhelming unknown. The first is Billy Joel, the piano man who didn't start the fire. He was a high school dropout who flurried into the future with mad-eyed focus, and in his 20s he wrote Vienna, culminating in these lines. Slow down, you crazy child, and take the phone off the hook and disappear for a while. It's all right. You can afford to lose a day or two. When will you realize Vienna waits for you. I think I can speak for my classmates when I say this. It seems like the world is rushing past and we scrabble to jam fistfuls down our gullet before it leaves us behind. It's all rush and slide and skid, but slow and steady wins the race after all, and Rome wasn't built in a day. Maybe we should consider these worn out platitudes that oh so persistently cry the same thing. Only when you pause can your quiet inner self emerge from its hidey hole, spread wide and bite a sensation. Your Vienna will wait for you. 
Next is the poet Wendell Berry, who did graduate, so a gold star to him. Berry's academic career brought him from New York to France until he settled on a farm in Kentucky with no TV, no computer, and a new countryside every morning. He wrote this poem, The Peace of Wild Things. When despair for the world grows in me, and I wake in the night at the least sound, in fear of what my life and my children's lives may be, I go and lie down where the wood drake rests in his beauty on the water, and the great heron feeds. I come into the peace of wild things who do not tax their lives with forethought of grief. I come into the presence of still water, and I feel above me the day-blind stars waiting with their light. For a time, I rest in the grace of the world and am free. Nature is not reserved for the L.L. Bean models. You were born here. It's yours. See, our world is bedlam right now, but the world isn't. Have you asked a chipmunk what he thinks about virus spread in the rodent community? <laughs> he doesn't think of it. He is too cleanly engaged in existing. Humans tend to seek fulfillment in cities and technology and progress, so we graduates are going to fan out in search of the elusive good life. And maybe, like Mr. Barry, we'll return to the point of departure where it was waiting all along. We come to Walt Whitman, who cruised out of school at age 11, back when that was still legal, and proceeded to fail at everything. After several floppy forays into journalism and education, he could only pursue his one constant, poetry. He wrote this, the exclamatory, oh me, oh life. Oh me, oh life, of the questions of these recurring, of the endless trains of the faithless, of cities filled with the foolish, of myself forever reproaching myself for who more foolish than I and who more faithless, of eyes that vainly crave the light, of the objects mean, of the struggle ever renewed, of the poor results of all, of the plodding and sordid crowds I see around me, of the empty and useless years of the rest, with the rest, me intertwined. What good amid these, O oh me, O oh life? Answer, that you are here, that life exists and identity, that the powerful play goes on and you may contribute a verse. Why are we here? If you don't believe in a purpose imbued before birth, it can be easy to drift off into Netflix, binge eating, and general hedonism. To live in this society is to recognize that it could break us. I mean, listen to Whitman's lament on the flaming mess. What good amid these, he asks. The answer, you are powerful. So what if nobody dropped your purpose down from the sky on a golden parachute? You bushwhack your path through these woods, and as Whitman could attest, it doesn't have to be perfect from the get-go. You contribute your verse, and it will be convoluted and screwy and completely valid. I wrote this speech determined not to acknowledge the elephant in the room. Yet, I can't help but allude to the microorganism that's kicked us into the big sad. Seniors, we got enough nostalgia to fill the Thomas Hill standpipe. We don't need any more. Sure, we've been handed the stamp of approval to bawl our eyes out over a flick to our egos, but I challenge you not to imbibe. All of us, graduates or not, I think we can take it on the chin and turn to the world that was never taken away from us. It's waiting, bearded with forests, alive with wild things, and you write your part in this powerful play. So why squat in the past? 
We have this moment and all the future ones we can grab, and that is worth celebrating. Superintendent Gonyer, Chairman Harris, parents, family, and friends, the Herman High School seniors recognized before you here today have successfully completed the requirements for graduation as prescribed by the Herman School Committee. I am pleased at this time to confer to you the following members of the Herman High School class of 2020. Drew Carroll. Michael McGee. Gabriella Adams. <laughs> Excellent job. Mm -hmm. Congratulations. Thank you. You may move your tassel. <laughs> it is now official. <laughs> David. Chris Foley. Austin Giles. Congratulations, Austin. Take your tassel and move it to the other side, and you're officially graduated. Dylan Emery. Great job, Dylan. Very good. Take mm -hmm. your castle, move it to the other side, and you'll be officially graduated. Joseph Nash. Sydney Hansen. Well done. Very good. 
take your tassel and move it to the other side, and you can officially grab it. <laughs> Evan Lindsay. Great job, Great job. Great job. Now you're officially graduates. Dagan Purvis. Move to the other side, you'll be officially graduating. Well done. Very good. Allison Rush. Derek Jenkins. Congratulations, well done. Thank you. Can you move it? You are officially Herman High School. Alexander Kivel. Well done. A lot of hard work there. Very good. Move that tassel. You're officially ready. Ryan Roy. Great job, Ron. Thank you. Fantastic. Move the tassel. You're officially back. Mason Smith. Congratulations, great work, Don. Move your tassel to the other side, you'll be an official graduate of Harmon High School. Joshua Lovejoy. Official Herman graduate. You got it. <laughs> <laughs> Matthew.
Matthew St. Louis. Fantastic work, Matt. Well done. Castle to the other side. You are now an official Herman High School graduate. Anthony St. Louis. Well done. Best of luck in the future. Detective Castle, move it over. You are now a Herman High School graduate. graduate. Benjamin Hart. Side, you will officially be the Herman High School graduate. Nicholas Cox. Officially, a Herman graduate. Congratulations. Lacey Haskell. McGuire. Officially a Herman High School graduate. Brooke Dempsey. Congratulations, you're a Herman High School graduate. <laughs> Lillian Ebersol.
you tassel to the other side. We will now consider you a Herman High School graduate. Ayla Oxley. Kale Jackson. Well done. Thank Excellent. you. Excellent. If you move your tassel to the other side, we will now consider you a Herman High School graduate. Valedictorian Neely Raymond. Congratulations, you're an Ella Herman High School graduate. Salutatorian Liana Shaw. Congratulations, you're now a Herman High School graduate. <laughs> Noel Thibodeau. Benjamin Glockner. I appreciate it, Ben. But <laughs> Congratulations. Thank you, you move your tassel to the other side. You are oh. <laughs> close enough. We're going. You are now a Herman High School graduate. <laughs> Madison Baker. Austin Emerson. Yeah. Congratulations, Dawson. You take your tassel, move it to the other side. You got it. Hey, right that's there. a wrap. That's a wrap. Mackenzie White. Well 
Great job, Mackenzie. Well done. You are now a Herman High School graduate. Congratulations. Nolan Carmichael. Isaiah Gage. <laughs> nice job. Well done. If you take your tassels and look to the other side. Very good. You are now a Herman High School graduate. Logan Holbrook. Side, and you're now a Herman High School graduate. <laughs> Alexis Casey. Rachel Baumis. Great work. You take a tassel and move it to the other side. You are now a Herman High School graduate. Congratulations. Abigail Boucher. Congratulations, you are a Herman High School graduate. Andrew Lavasser. Great job, Andrew. Congratulations, Herman High School graduate. Willow Ward.
congratulations, Willa. Yes, you know what to do. <laughs> you are now a Herman High School graduate. Felicia DeShane. Dante Parks. Well done. Well done. If you take your tassel, move it to the other side. This is pretty grippy. Congratulations. Jaden Partridge. You are now a Herman High School graduate. Emma Townsend. You are now a Herman High School graduate. Congratulations. <laughs> Jenica Buck. <laughs> nice job. Thank you. Tassel to the other side. Congratulations. You are now a Herman High School graduate. Thank you. Malaya Jokes. <laughs> Congratulations, Joel Baldwin. Thank you. Move your tassel to the other side. You are now a Herman High School graduate. <laughs> Jillian Shorey. Dunphy. Foley. 
Congratulations, Mia. It's time to move that tassel. Outstanding. Congratulations, Herman Graduate. Thank you. Madison Holberg. Congratulations, you are now a graduate of Herman High School. Reagan Merriman. Well done. Yes, you are now a graduate of Herman High School. Congratulations. Thank you. Quinn Bartlett. <laughs> Great work. Tessa, give us some. Congratulations, you're a Herman High School graduate. <laughs> Kylie Hall. Well done. If you take your tassel, move it to the other side. You are now officially a Herman High School graduate. Congratulations. Kimberly McElroy. Fantastic job, Kim. Congratulations. Awesome. You're now a Herman High School graduate. Reagan Partridge. Great job, congratulations. I'll move your tassel over. You are now officially a Herman High School graduate. Grace Page. Well done, Grace. Thank you. If you take your task and you move it to the other side, you are now officially a Herman High School graduate. <laughs> Paige Plissy. Emily Willie. Great job. Move it. Oh, hold on. Move it to outside. Now it's official. There we go. 
Sally Jackson. Thank Very you. Well done. Would you take your tassel and move it to the other side? You are now an official Herman High School graduate. Thank you. Quentin Mayhew. Move it to the other side. Congratulations, you're another high school graduate. Lexi Meeker. Emily Morgan. Fantastic job. Castle to the other side. Excellent. Congratulations, you're a you. high school graduate. Nathan Elaine. Yeah. Nice job, Nate. If you take your tassel, move it to the other side. You are now officially a Herman High School graduate. Wyatt Butler. Ethan Rudnicki. Travis Spell Jr. Congratulations, Travis. Time to move that tassel. You are now a Herman High School graduate. Gabriel Diaz. Congratulations. If you take your tassel and move it to the other side. You will now be an official Herman High School graduate. Congratulations. <laughs> Ian Fasella. Um, 
Now it's time to take your tassel, move it to the other side. That's a sign that you are a Herman High School graduate. Congratulations. Evan Staples. Congratulations, you're a Herman School High School graduate. <laughs> Kathleen Thayer. Congratulations, you're a Herman High School graduate. Garrett Eldridge. Nice job. It's time to turn the tassel to the other side. <laughs> you are yeah. now an official Herman High School graduate. Mackenzie Leonard. Herman High School graduate. <laughs> Ryan Mayu. School graduate. Congratulations. Isaac Parent. Connor Boudreaux. Nice job, Connor. Time to take the tassel and move it to the other side. You are now an official Herman High School graduate. Okay. Parker Hawes. Well done. Thank you. Take your tassel now and move it to the other side. Congratulations, Herman High School graduate. <laughs> Caden Nevels. Great job, Caden. Thank you. Move your tassel to the other side. Congratulations, you are an official. 
Isaac Varney. Congratulations, you are now an official Herman High School graduate. Caleb Allen. Congratulations, you're a Herman High School grad. Thank you. Logan Farrar. Congratulations, Herman High School graduate. Isaac Frost. Great job, Isaac. Now it's time to make it official. Let's move that castle. Herman High School graduate. Congratulations. Parker Pettengill. Robinson. Congratulations. It's now time to turn your tassel. Outstanding. You are now a Herman High School graduate. Congratulations. Harley Walton. Official Herman High School graduate. Dakota Caro Quimby. Congratulations, you're an official Herman High School graduate. Ian Kelly.
job being stopped right there. Yeah, back on yellow. Very good. We're going to make this official. Castle, move it over to the other side. And you are now an official graduate of Herman High School. Congratulations. Robert Pottle. Congratulations to Herman High School graduate. Jacob Wilds. Congratulations, Herman High School graduate. Benjamin Zapsky. Congratulations, you are now our Herman High School graduate. Emily Sear. And you are now an official Herman High School graduate. Luke Farrar. Move it to the other side. Oh. <laughs> that works. That works. You are now the official Herman High School graduate. Congratulations. Harry Dornan. to make it official. Let's take your tassel, move it to the other side. Excellent. Congratulations. <laughs> Tyler Robles. please join me in congratulating the newly graduated Herman High School class of 2020. Thank you.